Welcome back to Cold Iron's Kitchen. I'm Wade. Tonight's dinner is going to be a theme, and the theme is the lemon. Strange little thing, citrus fruit, high in acid, high in pH. Has very has a lot of culinary uses and um, aromatherapy uses. No one's really sure about the origin of the lemon. But we know that in 1747, a uh, British sea sailing physician used it to treat scurvy. We know that you can use all parts of the lemon. The rind, the pulp, the juice. Mostly the juice is what's being used for the lemon. But tonight we're going to infuse lemon in everything we cook. Back with you in a minute. Hi, we're back. Well, we discussed that we're going to be using lemon as the theme for the night. Tonight what we're going to be fixing is a, a French chicken breast, we're going to be fixing couscous, and we're going to be making seared vegetables. All will have some sort of lemon infused into it somehow. But right now we're going to come down here, we're going to make a batter to dip our chicken in. What I have here is an egg and, a, and one white. Throw the yolk away. So you just have an egg and a white, and you whip that up. Add a teaspoon of white sugar, a little over a tablespoon of Parmesan, but you're looking at making something that's going to make a crust. Isn't that fun to watch? Okay, that's all together. Alrighty, now in the other bowl, this one here, we have flour, salt, and pepper. Real basic breading recipe. And over here, we have a nice hot pan. Down. Dredge your uh, chicken. I cut these into cutlets, little thin cutlets, about a half inch thick, in flour. Put them in the egg wash, or the egg batter with the Parmesan, and gently put them in the pan. Now, we're going to bread all six of these. They're going to cook about four minutes each side until they're nice and golden brown. Once we're done with that, we'll be back to you. Welcome back. Now, to take a look at our chickens here. They're getting nice and crispy and golden and beautiful, so we're going to take them out of the pan. They've, they've been good little chickens. We're going to set them aside for a few minutes, and we're going to work some more magic. And don't worry about the little chunks that are in the pan over here, but they'll be just fine. Now, what we're going to add to this pan is a quarter cup of butter. Real butter. Now, you notice i got a lemon rolling around on there that looks a little worse for wear, kind of naked, because I took all the skin off and put it in this bowl. That's called a zest. And we're going to use that zest. Let's uh, encourage this butter to melt here. It's going to be part of the sauce. Now, butter is a natural thickening agent. Unlike margarine, which is made from oil, butter is a dairy product. As you cook down a dairy product, it is going to get thicker. Now, you'll note over here, we got some noise going on. This is a pan that has in it a two and a, two and a half cups of broth and water, some basil, some thyme, and some rosemary. Well, basil, thyme, and the rosemary have done their jobs. Thank you very much for playing. And to this, what we're going to add is a pinch of lemon zest. There's the lemon part of this program. And we're going to add the juice of one half of a lemon. Now, when you put in uh, lemon juice, strain it. Now, it's not necessary to have fresh lemon. You can do this with just lemon juice, but then you wouldn't have your zest available. And the zest is the essential oils that you get your flavor from. To this two and a half cups of broth, we're going to add a cup of couscous, which is a grain of some sort. So we add that in there. We're going to give that a quick stir. Now this has got to come back up to a boil and cook for five minutes. Now we're back over here to our butter. The butter's looking pretty good, so to that we're going to add two cloves, minced garlic, 
I'd have shown you how to smash it, but you've seen me do that before. And the juice of one whole lemon. You can use a juicer if you like. Pinch of lemon zest. Two tablespoons thereabouts of reduced sodium bouillon or chicken stock. Either way works. And about a quarter cup of dry sherry. You notice no exact measurements here. Now, reduce your heat to a simmer. You're going to want to simmer this until it thickens up. And then we're going to reintroduce chicken to it. We'll be back with you. Hi there. We're introducing into this broth two cups of sliced mushrooms. Just to give the sauce some, some flavor, some bounce, some texture. Mushrooms are a great thing. I love, love using mushrooms. We'll be back. Hi, we're back. What we've got over here is this delightful sauce that's been cooking up. We're going to reintroduce our chicken to that so it can finish its cooking process. Got the delightful mushrooms there, the smell of the butter and the chicken and the garlic. It's all just beautiful. A little bit of sherry smell in there. So we're going to put that back in and let that cook for a bit. Come back over here and we're looking at our couscous, which is cooking up nicely. It's absorbing all the water. And we have a pan here, which we're going to put in a tablespoon and a half of butter. We're going to do some seared vegetables. Now you don't want the butter to burn. This is on really low heat. Now, we're doing a mixture of vegetables. I'm going to add some <laughs> lemon zest to the butter. Again, introducing lemon into the food. And we're doing some sheared carrots and crooked neck squash. Now, it's not difficult to make sheared carrots and crooked neck squash. What you need is a carrot, partially used, and a vegetable peeler. It's a real simple process. You just put it on your cutting board and run through like that. Makes a real elegant looking vegetable. To this, we're going to add a pinch of fresh thyme. Now, this is going to cook down. Okay? And but we want to sear them. And then we're going to finish it off with lemon juice. Again, some more lemon infused into this. So while all this is cooking, we'll be back to you. Back again. Now you'll note that I'm cooking this in an electric skillet. The reason why I'm using an electric skillet is I had a request from somebody to show some recipes that you can use electric skillet with. A shout out goes to my soldier at Fort Lewis. Stay safe, buddy. Okay, you'll notice the uh, carrots and the squash have cooked down a little. Nice little hue to them. We're going to put just a pinch more of the zest on it because that lemony zest is beautiful. We're going to lighten them up with some lemon juice. And this is about ready to go. Now, if you look at the corner of my cutting board here, I have a little appetizer treat here. Since we're doing a primarily French dish, we're going to have a bit of cream cheese, caviar, and a cracker. Yummy. Mm, good stuff. We'll plate in a few minutes. Hang on. Well, it's all cooked. The only thing to do now is plate dinner up. Now, I, somebody asked me, why do I call it plating? Well, I'm putting food on a plate. Look at those vibrant colors between the um, carrot and the squash. Then we're going to... Uh, put a couple of cutlets on the plate here. A spoonful of couscous over here. And we're going to grab some of this juice. Put that over the chicken. And a little over the couscous. What we have here again is a French style chicken breast, couscous, and uh, some, uh, carrots and squash all blended together. This is dinner. Thanks for watching.